way that it feels right. Guys, the latest mystery box is in. What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day of your entire lives. We're back with another banger for you guys today. So today we actually ah. So today we today we actually have something a little bit different than the traditional mystery box videos that we've been doing. So normally I order one mystery box off the dark web, we unbox it, right? And it's usually at a set value. There was $250 and $300. Today, what we are doing is we are doing something above and beyond. I decided that we should try and compare some mystery boxes. So I went out and ordered a $50 mystery box off the dark web. And I ordered a $1,000 mystery box off the dark web. So I'm excited to see what's in them just because with the dark web mystery boxes, you never actually know what you're gonna get. You could literally get a box of garbage or you could get a box full of cool nostalgic stuff like the last video that I did where I got a whole bunch of Nintendo and Pokemon stuff, which by the way, I ended up giving most of it to Kazzy's brother anyway. So didn't actually keep most of it, but it was still really, really cool to get. So I'm super, super pumped. I think this is a great idea. It was actually suggested by one of you guys in the comments section below. Big shout out to you guys for getting Getting this video done it I, we did, we're doing this video because you guys suggested it so be sure to leave your suggestions below it I love your suggestions and when they're really good I'll put them into video you guys already know before we start the video I need you guys to do me a massive favor I need you guys to smash that like button as hard as you can comment down below and turn on post notifications then I think after we unbox these things we'll go out with the dogs I don't have my car with me so we're gonna have to go and have a super fun time with the dogs afterwards which I'm excited for I went out and I did buy some new gloves. I actually ran into a fan at the store. So big shout out to you. I never got your name at the dollar store, but thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate that. Um, she actually was in line as I was buying these gloves. So two, let's do this. All right, well, let's compare the packaging first. They're both the same weight. This one's actually a little bit slimmer the box. Um, this one's good. Normally with the Mystery boxes, like they're lathered in tape. This one's not too taped up, as you can see. Um, neither is this one. This one actually doesn't have any tape closing it. It's just a flap. I haven't looked in any of these, by the way. I don't know what's in either of them. I wait, literally waited to show you guys. So you guys are seeing this for the first time, as well as I am. You guys can hear stuff moving around too, I'm excited. All right, you guys ready? Should we just open it on camera like this? Okay, five, oh no, three, two, one. Is it hype? Is it, I can't see it. My face is covered, is it hype? You guys have to tell the comment below if it's hype. Is it hype? Let me know if it's hype. Is it? Is it hype? Oh, what is that? What do we, okay. So first off, let's start with this insane Sharpie that we just got. Uh, literally just a Sharpie. Oh, nope, it's just a Sharpie. It's literally just a Sharpie. Okay, so object number one is a Sharpie. Object number two is literally heartworm medication because this is the same kind of heartworm medication I use for my dog. And it's expired. So object number one was a Sharpie. Object number two was expired heartworm medication. So thank you, mystery box deliverer person. This is cool. What is this? Celestial Heart Tonic Pills. Lanzu Foku Pharmaceutical. Is Chinese medication? Traditional Chinese medicine used to replenish the yin, nurse the blood, tonify the heart, and calm the mind. Helps relieve symptoms of palpitation, sense of forgetfulness, insomnia, excessive dreaming, dry stools, or constipation. It's still sealed. I'm trying to be very careful here, but I'm also Whoa, whoa, oh, I dropped one. Oh, okay, they just, okay, I gotta go pick that up. Just a little black ball. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, wow, wow, we really uh, hit the jackpot here. The next items are, ba -dum -ba -dum, a light bulb and a battery. So our $50 mystery box is seriously a dud because all we got was expired heartworm medication some random Chinese medication and 
a Sharpie, battery, and a light bulb. Okay, so it looks like our $50 mystery box is a serious dud and a disappointment. I'm kind of cheesed, but it was 50 bucks. You can't really expect much from a $50 mystery box. So that's what I get for being cheap. So yeah, $50 mystery box, no go. Giant thumbs down for that, okay? Thank you for whoever decided to send me this stuff, but it was literally garbage. So thanks for your garbage. All right, so now to get to the reason why you guys are here, we all want to see what's inside the thousand dollar mystery box. Um, if you guys are wondering about the black guy, obviously, you know, scribbled out my name. What's interesting about this one is this one was actually delivered to my mailbox. Um, there wasn't an option to put the PO box that I used because the guy thought I was gonna be like, trolling him or something so he wanted to make sure that it was sent to my actual address so i bit the bullet sent it to my address i know i know that is a bad idea you guys are gonna give me shit for that i know but that was the only way i could get him to send me this box okay i know i know i'm i'm i feel like an idiot already okay never give out your address to anybody online but that was the only way i could get him to send me this so i had to do the video and i wanted to so let's let's dig into it guys um okay we got it open so right off the bat the thousand dollar mystery boxes they're easy to open uh, okay what do we have here ah okay oh i think there's a note we have a note note right now says ligma hold on this is nuts nuts ligma nuts ligma nuts is that like some like alpha beta ligma is like ligma a is that part of the greek alphabet ligma alpha like you know those maybe it's like a sorority so I think this might have been from the Ligma sorority. And then nuts, Ligma nuts sorority. I don't know, maybe this guy sent this from a university. Um, I'll Google it later. Maybe there's a like a university uh, sorority called Ligma nuts. I don't know. And then it says, sucks to be you. So I guess the Ligma nuts sorority sent me this box and then they said sucks to be you. So thank you Ligma nuts. Not too kind of them. Okay. I don't know what this is. This is just a there's a bag, it's a, a giant plastic bag. It's just a giant plastic bag. Okay. Ow! Ow! Okay, first off, uh, something just pricked me. And this thing's covered in like little, like paper towel, so I can't see what's in here. But something literally just, what the fuck pricked me? Guys, I think I just screwed up. What the hell is this? Guys, I just got, I think I got pricked by this. Dude, I literally just got pricked by a needle. And there's hair around the needle too. Guys, look at this. I got pricked by this needle. I got pricked by this needle and it's covered in hair. Well, I guess maybe the, the hair was in the box already, but there's just all this hair around this needle. Okay, I'm 100% going to the hospital after this. Um, what the fuck? What's this? Okay, I gotta be really, really careful looking at this. Y'all, don't get it twisted. I am literally flying to the hospital after this, but I spent $1,000 on this box. I wanna go through it for the camera. Um, that hurt a lot. I don't like needles, by the way. Um, this is another little pill bottle here. And there's something inside it. It says, Loraz, Lor, it says Lorazep, Lorazep, and then the rest of it kind of cuts off. Three milligrams of Lorazep. I don't know if you guys can see it. I, there is a name on here, so I don't want to put it up to the camera because I don't want to show the person's name. <sighs> guys, I think I actually have to go to the police with this. This, you can literally, it's just, stuff is just covered under this thing. Like there's just paper towel covering up everything. There's, what is this? Sally silic acid. Sally silic acid for external use only. Guys, my finger is killing me. What the hell is this? Guys, there's this little, another container, there's these two vials in it. 
I'm not, I'm not opening this, by the way. I'm, I'm not. I'm going, I'm literally going to the hospital with this whole package. And I'm gonna just tell them what happened. And I'm just gonna be straight up with them. But look at this. This literally video is gonna be my evidence to the hospital that I didn't buy this, this stuff. And that it's not me pricking myself. I literally got pricked by a random ass needle. 1000 MCG per milligram, per milliliter. It's a sterile. Oh, what are these? Guys, look at this. Two of these. Surgical blades. I, th I, th I think there's still some in here. Guys, they're literally... You can see the surgical blades right here. Are these scalpels? Guys, these are literally scalpel heads. You can... Was this from like a hospital or something? Is there one in here? Yeah, there is. Guys, this is super dangerous. Okay, guys, I'm like tripping out. Um, I'm, I'm seriously gonna go to the hospital with this and I'm gonna tell them to call the police because there's random hair and it's long hair. It's like long brown hair and it, so I think it might be a woman's hair. I think like maybe the person was like doing surgery or something and maybe this was what they used to like not make a mess and I guess these are the scalpels they used for the surgery. And then, and then there's Laura Zap. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's Laura Zap. But the rest of the word is cut off. I don't know if that was used in it. And then there's some sort of acid, a needle, and two vials. Whatever this ligma sorority was doing is messed up. Seriously, gonna go to the hospital with this because I wanna. I have to go get blood work done now because I just got pricked with the needle. If you guys are ever pricked with anything, first thing you gotta do is go to the hospital. I wanted to finish this video because I had already started it and it would only take me a few minutes to finish, but. I have to go to the hospital. My brother has my car, so I literally have to Uber there. Okay, I, I was gonna take my dogs out and show you guys a vlog with the dogs, but I'm gonna have to end this early because I, I pricked myself. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what's going on after I get to the hospital. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. And hopefully, whatever I got pricked with, hopefully that needle wasn't used. Feels right. Say that it feels right